Do you know what the most important thing when you pick a college is? Do you know what the most important thing when you pick a spouse is? Do you know what the most important thing when you pick a place to live is? Do you know what the most important thing when you pick a job is? It has nothing or very little to do with the financial benefits of the job. If you take a job for money, you're not, that, that should be a reason, but like the fifth or sixth most important reason. If you go to a school because of glamour or because everyone else thought it's the right, that, that should be way down the list. If you marry a guy or a girl or have a relationship with them because of what other people think or how other people feel, that that's a mistake. The most, the most important things in life to me and what the hell I know, uh, I've been modestly successful for 20 years in this business and I made some good choices and some terrible choices in life, in business, in agents, or with schools that I picked. The most important thing is knowing who you are and finding the right fit. See, uh, Ryan Tannehill, if you look at the numbers, like, did you guys see these stats which people have put out? And again, this is why stats don't totally tell the story, right? But if you look at Tannehill's stats, this guy, since he's been uh, anointed the starter, in Tennessee has been ever bit as a uh, successful quarterback statistically as Lamar Jackson, right? Over the past 17 games, Lamar's 15 and two Tannehill's 13 and four. The touchdown to interception ratio is 36 to seven for Tannehill 36 and eight for Lamar. Uh, Tannehill's actually passing for more yards per game. Obviously Lamar Jackson's running for more yards per game. But Tannehill's passing numbers are far better than Lamar Jackson, who wants some damn respect to steal from LeBron James. Now, is this a we should show him respect? Maybe. I still think Tannehill has some of the same flaws when he tries to push the ball downfield in third and California situations. Similar but different to Lamar Jackson. By the way, it should be pointed out that Ryan Tannehill did play another position in college. I'm sure you heard that a bunch last night. He was a wide receiver before becoming um, a, a quarterback. So he is athletic. He has suffered through an injury. He has gone through coaching changes. But the bigger thing is this. He has found a home in Tennessee. Is it helped by the fact that Derrick Henry is pushing NFL caliber defenders out of the way like their children? Absolutely. The most important things you're going to find in your life, in your career, in your pick of college is fit. Do you know who you are and can you find a fit for it? Be because I actually think there's a chance Adam Gase is a pretty good offensive mind, that he really was good with Peyton Manning. But Peyton Manning and Sam Darnold are two completely different players at the time in which he coached Peyton Manning in Denver and the time in which he's coached Sam Darnold in New York. Last night should give any Sam Darnold fan hope. Hey, man, we just find a team that is reasonably well coached, that has reasonable personnel, that has a reasonable running game and people to throw to, and Sam Darnold can be as good as... And there's, there's no better... There's, there's no easier parallel than Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield was not a good quarterback last year. But that's because he was put in a situation where Freddie Kitchens is like, well, Baker played in the spread in college. Let's spread it out and let him throw it in the pros. When Baker, That's not how he's going to win in the pros. He, his athletic talents have limitations. He's got to play off of play action. The reason that relationships make it, the reason that teams make it, the reason that players find the perfect amount of success. I'll just give you my own perfect personal example. I was a, um, a very good college basketball player. I was a great passer and a very good leader and a good enough defender for my size. It's hard to be small and make it, but I was tough enough and strong enough to where I could survive defensively 
with the exception of against the super uber elite six six dudes, I just there's nothing. And you know, posts I could do nothing with. I didn't make the NBA for two reasons. One, couldn't shoot, and that reputation preceded me. And two, I didn't, I couldn't get in front of a team that understood my weakness and how to play to my strength. The team that I had the best connection with was the LA Lakers. My dad was Tex Winner's assistant in Long Beach State, and Tex Winner wanted to take care of me, and the Lakers liked a, a local kid, gave me a shot. I was no hassle at, at vet mini camps and free agent mini camps. I'd come in. I knew the system. I'd play hard. I'd pass the ball. I'd try and make everybody else look better. But what I wasn't was a good fit for the triangle. Triangle is B.J. Armstrong, John Paxson, Steve Kerr. These guys are all elite catch-and-shoot jump shooters who – I, I'm 15 times the creative passer. All three of those guys are combined. Doesn't matter. Not needed in that system. Eric Snow, for example, played over a decade in the NBA. Could not shoot at all. Played in the NBA Finals with Philadelphia because he had Iverson taking all the shots. And all he had to do was defend, run, pass the ball, and occasionally try and make an open shot. Avery, Avery Johnson, right? Couldn't shoot. Led the nation in assist in college, got cut three times, but the Spurs bought into who he was, and he developed where he could just make a couple of shots and keep you honest. Some of it was wasn't good enough. I tell my son all the time, like, look, you just it's 450 dudes on earth. I wasn't good enough. But the truth is, had I found the right fit, there would have been a greater chance that I made it. You know, when I went to Notre Dame, I wanted to play for Notre Dame. It was a, an incredibly prestigious academic school. John McLeod was the head coach, the former NBA head coach. And I thought, man, that's the way I'm going to get to the league. But you know what? Oklahoma State was a public school, 25,000 people, basketball school, small arena, a coach that my dad had worked for before. They, they had athletes that could run. They just needed a point guard. It all just fit better. Yeah, like if you want to go follow me on Twitter, you can find out that I did some bad things when I was at Notre Dame that caused me to have to leave. But I fit with, and part of it was they adjusted their style at Oklahoma State to fit me. I, you know, I tell this story all the time. John McLeod is a very good NBA head coach. He went ran one side pick and roll. It was called three side. And as a right-handed player, However limited you think I was as a shooter, my my freshman year I wasn't. I didn't. Well, I didn't have a fear of missing. I'd let it fly whenever. I just I couldn't shoot off the pick and roll going to my right. I was much more confident going to my left. Most righties shoot better going left. Jordan, Kobe, uh, a couple of the uh, a couple of the exceptions. Most right-handed guys shoot better going left than they do right. Well, we ran this one side pick and roll play. And he would always run it. It was, it was only put in to run on the left side of the court coming back to my right hand, which I could pass off my right hand. I could drive off my right hand, but I was not conf- confident in a college game shooting the ball, which I should have been because I worked on it, but it's just a confidence thing. It took him until game 25 to change it and put it on the, left, the right side of the court to come to my left hand. In other words, he didn't understand it wasn't a fit. So when I see Tannehill play, I think that's a fit. When I see Lamar Jackson, like, look, at the, if they put Lamar Jackson in Kyle Shanahan's offense, he's going to be a failure. If you put him in some sort of spread or, or, uh, or uh, what, what Kyler Murray's doing, right, which is uh, the air raid system, he's going to be a failure because you have to be accurate and throw into open grass. That's not who he is. You build Greg Roman's system completely around Lamar Jackson and everything he does as a runner, as a pitch man, running options, occasional deep shots, throws only over the middle because he's not good at throwing outside the numbers. You create an MVP. Well, we talk about things all the time that have n- nothing to do with whether or not a guy's successful in professional and collegiate sports. You know what it is? Does he know who he is and does he have the right fit and the right opportunity? And then that, if you're doing things that you're familiar with, that you're comfortable in, then you have confidence and confidence is a huge factor in how good you are. 
RG, RG3 was running a hybrid of Baylor's offense during his rookie year. And what and they did not think it was sustainable, so they tried to integrate him into Kyle Shanahan's system, into the Shanahan system, and be a traditional quarterback. And it was an abject disaster. He can't play that way. It was a bad fit. It was a bad fit. You got to know who you are, and you got to find the right fit for who you are. And when you get that opportunity, doing something you know how to do, your confidence should should overflow. 